Now to talk a little about normal non-fluency. Between the ages of two and six years old, it is very common for young children to repeat syllables and whole words when they are speaking. This may not be stammering. This could be normal non-fluency. It often coincides with the time when speech and language skills are developing. And it may be a natural part of the process when learning to talk. So think of young children when they start to walk. There will be lots of bumps, lots of wobbles and lots of falls. So the same may be said when a child is learning to talk. These normal non-fluencies may just be a natural part of that. So you might be thinking, how can we tell if it is normal non-fluency or a stammer? Well, here are some typical signs of normal non-fluency. The child may engage in whole word repetitions, such as the, the, the blue chair. They will often have a lack of awareness of being disfluent, so the child probably doesn't even realise what they are doing. It can be inconsistent, so a child might be disfluent some days and other days not at all. The disfluency or stammering is mostly heard when the child is excited, but generally not at other times. And it can last from several weeks to several months. It might disappear for a time and then come back. So it's really important that you be patient and accept your child's speech. It can be difficult to predict who will continue to stammer and who will grow out of it. But there are a certain number of risk factors for a persistent stammer. Number one would be a family history. As I've mentioned previously, there is a strong genetic link to stammering. So is there a family member who stammers? We would look at the frequency of stammer. Is it regular stammers every day? And we would also look at the length of time of the stammering episode. If it is longer than six months, we would suggest contacting your local speech and language therapy department. We would look at the stammer behaviours. And now it is not just whole word repetitions. Your child may also present with part word repetitions such as mam 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 mammy, initial sound repetitions such as d d d d dad, and there may be prolongations and blocks. These are all signs of a more persistent stammer. We would look and see does your child have an increased awareness of the stammer? Are they avoiding any words or any situations? Do they avoid talking to certain people? And we would look and see are there any body or facial movements which may indicate that your child is struggling to get the word out. These may include twitching, blinking their eyes or moving their foot or head. So if you are concerned that it may be more than normal non-fluency, please contact your local speech and language therapy department and we will be happy to discuss it further with you and tease it out.